877, please. Thank you, Madam Speaker. In regard to Part A of the question, I am informed by the Ministry of Social Security, National Solidarity and Environment and Sustainable Development that an EIA license was issued to Growfish International <coughs> Mauritius Limited on 6 October 2017 in accordance with the Part 4 of the Environment Protection Act 2002. <coughs> there are 24 conditions attached to the license and these can be cons consulted online from the website of the Ministry of Environment and Sustainable, Sustainable Development. As regards part B of the question, I have to inform the House that LARIM has orally requested my ministry to arrange for a meeting with Growfish International Mauritius Limited to obtain more information on its aquaculture project with, <clears throat> with a view to enabling them to submit their views on the EIA report. On 17 July 2015, a meeting was held at my ministry with representatives of the LARIM, Growfish International Mauritius Limited, and Board of Investment <clears throat> Following clarifications sought by the representatives of LARIM, the representatives of Growfish International Mauritius Limited continued confined, sorry, confined that it was not going ahead with the development of the site at Le Monde. It will develop only at site Bamboo 1 and Bamboo 2. The sites chosen by Growfish International Limited at Bamboo <coughs> are in depths of more than 400 meters and are located at 1.8 kilometers from the coast outside the lagoon. There is no tourism related, related activity in this part, specific part of the, of the ocean and the region, which is situated outside the lagoon, as I said. I am also informed that after the issue of the, of the EIA license on 6 October 2017, LARIM and the Sea Users Association have submitted an appeal before the Environment and Land Use Appeal Tribunal. As the issue is subject to an appeal before the Environment and Land Use Appeal, appeal Tribunal, it would not be appropriate for me to provide detailed information on this matter. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, on one hand, we have the tourism industry that generates 68 billion rupees and employs over 100,000 jobs. And on the other hand, Grofish was going to employ 500 people only and we don't know how, uh, what is the turnover yeah. that is going to generate. So my question to the Honorable Minister is whether can we take such a risk? Can we embark on such a project without a proper assessment, without a proper scientific survey on aquaculture and its unintended consequences on uh, our economy and ecology? Madam Speaker, <coughs> this question of aquaculture, aquaculture sorry, is becoming very, very popular all around the world. I came back from South Africa <coughs> on Saturday back, and there also, everywhere in the world, people are talking about aquaculture, and it is important. I understand the preoccupation of the Honorable Member, but we know that even in this sector, and the government has created a ministry for aquaculture, especially <coughs> blue economy, 
and I believe that this is the future. We have taken the decision to make the ocean economy a it will be we want to make it. No, 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 we want to, want to make it a pillar of the economy. Uh, yes, and we mean it. My good friend, I'm sure he will agree with me that for, I mean, in this time, in the future also especially, many countries are suffering from famine and the food security is becoming a very, very important problem for the whole, wa whole world. Everywhere people are talking about agriculture and it is giving results. I tell you one thing, for the information of my, of my friend, in five years, they will start with five tons, and in five years, they will come to about 45 tons of fish, okay? okay? And it is, it is good for the people. People will earn money, they will have jobs, okay? And ultimately, many people will also get rid of <laughs> the question of okay. food security. I think you've answered the question, Honorable Minister. Yeah, yeah. Next question, Honorable yeah. Jabu. You have, you have another question. Yeah, yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you, ma'am. Concerning, ma'am, uh, bamboo one and bamboo B, the, uh, the site that was earmarked, identified for the, for the installation of the cages. Madam Speaker, in his EIA, Grow Fish acknowledges the issue regarding the proliferation of sharks. And one of its mitigating measures is to, is to install stronger nets around the, the aquaculture farm. So my question to the minister is whether uh, concerning uh, the uh, security of our fellow uh, citizens around the region of Ficon Flak, how is he going to protect the security of our citizens? There is a rumor in Mauritius, and especially since the PM is yes. You, the, the day you no. left the government, Don't. the next day the, there was a problem of shocks in the country. <laughs> it's a, it's <clears throat> you, you check it. Okay, you better check it. Please. Okay, no, please. Don't engage in any well, conversation, Honorable Minister. Honorable Minister, please don't engage in any conversation with any other member. Please give your reply to bigger, the question. Bigger shock than he has ever seen. Okay, I don't know whether he has seen me hunting in his place. Please anyway. don't interrupt the minister outside. Honorable Henri, don't interrupt the minister, please. Honorable Perrault? There is no proof in Mauritius, as far as I know, okay, that there has been any attack of sharks in the lagoon, especially in the lagoon. Okay. Okay. Honorable okay. Kunju, you finished? Not yet. You've given? Not yet. So please, don't take much time. Reply specifically to the question which I've been asked. Yes. Please, don't make remarks. Come on. Yeah. <coughs> Yes, madam. This is only a rumor, and we are taking all the precautions because we mean business, and we don't want any person, especially the people working in the tourism sector, to be, to be afraid of sharks. We never had, after independence, not a single attack of shark in Mauritius. Okay. Not a single. Next question. I'll, I'll, Honorable Adrien Duval. Thank you. Um, madam. The, in light of what he has said, the rumor, is he aware, because it is in his answer, is he aware that only one month ago in Grand Gob, uh, next to the aquaculture of Grand Gob, in the lagoon, about 100 meters from two hotels, uh, there were caught two, <laughs> two sharks of two different breeds reputed to attack humans. In Reunion, for example, Madam Speaker, the bull shark and the tiger shark are the top killers. And these sharks, over two meters in length, 
were caught on the said night. Okay. On boys with hooks, no. necks around the no, uh, aqua. No, the, the, if I can explain, because he, ask yes. the question is he aware? Is he aware of this incident? Is he aware that this is becoming a recurrent uh, 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 factor? And is he prepared to do a study, as the Honorable Jabu suggested, okay. and review his policy about giving permits of uh, fish farming inside the lagoon, especially close to hotels? Okay, don't be too lengthy in your question, yes. I'll ask my friend on the other side of the house to come with a substantive question. I'll give all the details about the two persons, especially in Grand Gop Setfasi. Okay? I understand that. I've got all the information. Come with the question, I'll tell you. Yes, Honorable Ramphol. Honorable Ramphol. Yes. Uh, there have been uh, recently a lot of questions yeah. with regards to those aquaculture projects. Now, before the obtention of an EIA license, I'm given to understand that the applicant needs to produce an ecological impact assessment report. Now, given all these questions that have been raised, would the Honorable Minister be prepared to make public or table before the Assembly uh, the eco ecological impact assessment report in all these cases where uh, uh, aquaculture licenses have been given, including this one? Yes, there is no problem with that, madam. Yeah, last question on this issue, Honorable Ganu. Can the Honorable Minister inform the House whether uh, there has been a complaint by uh, different associations with regard to the, uh, to the location of these cages near to these cages? Uh, it, this site is a privileged site, a preferred site for divers and snook snookers? I didn't follow the last part of the question, ma'am. Can you repeat me? Do you, want, do you want the honorable member to repeat his question briefly? So that yeah, I'm repeating my question. There has been a complaint by various associations to the effect that this, the, the area which has been chosen to place this cage which is the place which is preferred by swimmers, divers, and snorkelers. Yes, madam. There were some protests in Omoud for the Groofish Company, and Omoud and Bambu were chosen as two places. Ultimately, when there was a meeting in my office, in, in, my, in my ministry with, with the person concerned, the Groofish Company agreed to shift from the mode, there won't be any further development in the mode, but all will shift to Bambu 1 and Bambu 2. 